Today I'm going to be talking to you about the new method to do a password recovery using your Elite Recorders. Uh, as you can see here, I've upgraded the firmware on this recorder. Uh, and anything after September will have this uh, new method. So what you have to do is you have to factory reset your recorder in order to get to the new wizard. So after you've done that, you are going to go ahead and add your... Uh, your password make sure that you have a really strong password as you can see here I will go ahead and add something that's not gonna be as secure and then I'll add something that's medium security Alright, after you've done that, you'll see the unlock pattern. This is similar to the Android unlock patterns. I'll go ahead and add yours. And the next one would be the password protection. The email that is going to be added here will be the one that's going to be receiving the, uh, the code after you've sent the, uh, the challenge. You'll need a QR code scanner. After you've scanned that, then you'll be able to send that over in an email. I'll show you in a, in a moment. All right, so I've used support at securitycameraking.com. All right, so down here, make sure to select a question for one, two, and three, uh, just so you have another method of uh, password recovery. So you have the unlock pattern, the QR code, as well as the uh, questions. So, and the next one, in the setup wizard, it's going to ask you to, uh, if you want to do auto check for uh, for updates, make sure that you have that enabled. And here, we're just going to leave uh, default. Uh, disable P2P, just for the uh, demonstration, and click finish. And I'll go ahead and uh, log in right now. Let's log out log back in I'm gonna ignore the pattern click on forget password now this is the QR code you need to scan and this is the email address that it's gonna be receiving the uh, the code after you scan it so go ahead and scan it I've, I've been using the QR code scanner for uh, for Chrome on the on the iOS platform so I'm gonna go ahead and send this to support at underscore gpwd at htmicrochip.com and I'm gonna title this password recovery now the title doesn't matter but the body does have to have the QR code information only now after you've gotten that you will receive an email with the code grab this code and get back to your recorder and just input your recorder's code response. Now in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and give this an extra character. I'm gonna use C as the extra character. So you can see what happens when you uh, fail. So here's the invalid. You can always go back and click on the field and use the keyboard, the on-screen keyboard to fix any errors. Click next. Then here, go ahead and add a secure password. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna put secure pass one, two, three. Same thing for the confirmation, secure pass one, two, three. Now notice that I have two bars only on the uh, difficulty meter there. It's always good to have all three. Now for the sync, go ahead and click yes. This will sync up everything. Then click on finish. After you've done that, go ahead and log in with your new password. Secure P2P. 
P-A-S-S. One, two, three. And enter and okay. And here you go. Here's the new system with the newest firmware version. All right, that's it. Thank you and have a good day.